A variety of surgical techniques have been proposed to treat patients with lymphedema, especially when it has become too difficult to manage by medical therapy alone. The type of lymphedema may determine if a surgical treatment is possible for your condition. Excisional operations remove excess tissue to help decrease the size of the limb. The most extensive excisional operation is the Charles procedure, which removes all the skin and subcutaneous tissue from the knee down to the ankle. This procedure may be done when there have been multiple infections in the skin and fatty tissue under the skin, skin sloughing, or the patient is having difficulty in performing normal daily functions. Reducing the bulk of skin is usually helpful, but this invasive procedure can have complications such as poor wound healing, prolonged hospitalization, long scars, changes in feeling, and swelling in the foot and ankle. A less extensive form of surgery to reduce lymphedema tissue is liposuction. Lymphedema tissue in time turns into fat, which cannot be helped by compression, so liposuction does this for the body. In rare cases, and when there are nicely open lymph vessels above and below an area of damage, lymphatic reconstruction or direct reconnections of the lymph vessels to each other or a vein is possible. These are called lymphovenous anastomosis or lymphatic grafting and they use microsurgery. It is noted that this procedure is most useful when done early in the course of lymphedema, before subcutaneous fibrosis occurs and lymphatic vessel sclerosis or hardening begins and the lymphatic vessels still have the ability to contract. It has been done in patients with surgical damage to lymph vessels, such as after breast cancer surgery, chylus reflux, and in people affected with filariasis, Surgery for lymphedema is really the last option and only for a select group of patients. Medical treatment is the mainstay of treatment and surgery is only considered if this fails. An in-depth discussion of this option with a vascular surgeon would be the best way to find out if you are a candidate for surgery.